Hello guys, my name is Jesper Nissen and in this video I will show you how to integrate your Google Cloud account with Yax. So let's get started. All right, uh, I have created my Google Cloud account and I have created a service account and, uh, a, and, and a project and a service account. So what I will do is I will click up here in the burger menu. I will click on I am at me and I will now select the service accounts. And I'll be sure to select the project that we are working on. This is the project I just created in the last video. So I will select the service accounts and I'll select the keys. And this is where I can actually add the keys that will uh, allow me to connect and integrate my Google Cloud account with Yax. So I'll click Add Key. I'll click Create New Key. And the type of key that we are using in Yax is called the JSON key. So I'll just click Create. And now the key has been downloaded to my computer. I don't know if you noticed, but you can see here in the bottom left corner of my browser window, that there is a text file down here. So I'll just click close here. So let me navigate over to Yax. And um, you can see my client's account that I created here is called Jesper's SEO Automobiles. So I'll click the blue button here. And now I will select Google Cloud because this is what we're integrating. So I will click add new. And let me call it uh, Google Cloud Jesper SEO Cars and upload JSON file. So I'll click select file and I'll navigate down to my uh, folder with my downloads. Jesper Nissen's SEO Automobiles. And I'll click open and connect. And it is connected. So uh, simple and easy. So, but uh, let's test if the connection works, if the integration works. Let's test it now if it's possible to upload to my Google Cloud account. So I'll click on templates and seven content area. And uh, what I'm doing when I am testing the integration, if it works, I'm just typing in one page, target rule one, meta title one, meta description one. These are the four mandatory fields uh, for now that we need to uh, enter when we are building a web page. So this is the only input. I uh, will now scroll down to the bottom and click the generate button to see here. So now I've generated successfully an HTML file. So I'll click the upload here. And you see that you have the opportunity to select Amazon, Azure and Google Cloud. I will of course select Google Cloud. And I can see now Google Cloud, I will have to select the client. The client is Jesper's SEO Automobiles. And the account is, of course, Google Cloud, Jesper's SEO Cars. And the bucket, I didn't create any bucket yet, so I can create a bucket here called SEO Cars. Uh, add. Invalid bucket name, probably because it can not have spaces. I think it, it can't it can't have spaces, bucket names in Google Cloud. That was my mistake. I can create a directory or not. Uh, I can just simply place it in the root. Let me just try that for this example. Click upload. Upload it successfully. Yeah, so it seems to be working. So let me click on this link to see. Last updated. This is the sitemap. And this is what the web page looks like. So this is the URL and uh, yeah, it's live now on Google Cloud. And uh, let me inspect the authority of this page by selecting my Mangools plugin. So I'll click show data for XXURL. And you can see here it has a page authority of 44 and a domain authority of 93. So very powerful, small little do follow link that I just created. And of course, it's I know it's a super boring design, but uh, what I was doing here was just testing to see if the integration worked. So there you have it, guys. I have now tested if the integration works, and it does. So um, 
Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.